Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial video where we'll be taking a look at a very important building block in Flutter Flow applications. Now, say I have some widgets on the screen and I want them to take up some amount of space, but I want to determine the amount of space that each of these widgets takes up. So how can I get that done? So I'm going to add a container add one container let's have this container there then i would change the color for that container see i change this from the secondary backgrounds to just the secondary color so that is the blue now i want to wrap this in a row so i'll wrap this in a row wrap widget so I'll wrap this in a row so i'll wrap this in a row now i'll add another container to this so add another container there and I can give this container a color of the, let's use the tertiary color. All right, so I have this. Now I have these two containers side by side. So what if I want this orange container to take up the remaining space? Or I want the blue container to take up the remaining space in this row. So how do I get that done? Now we have the expanded, which we can use for that. So. If I scroll down a bit, or oh, it's actually at the top, okay, so I have this expanded, which I can use for that. So I can add an expansion to this orange container. So if I click on that, okay, so you see expansion has been added, and now the container takes up the remaining width of the row. So I can do the same to this blue container. So if I click on the blue container and I add expansion to that, so if I do that, so you can see now, they both take up the same amount of width in this container. So this is one way you can get your widgets in a row to take up the same amount of width or the same amount of space in that row. So another thing we can do, we can add a flex property for this expanded uh, widgets. So assuming I want this orange one to take up some amount of space while I have the blue one take up the remaining space. So let's say I want to start sharing it, sharing the space among them, how, how, however I, I see fit. So I would ensure the orange one is selected. Of course, then you have this flex property which we can apply to an expanded widget. So if I set a flex value of three, so you can see how the orange one becomes bigger or takes up more width than the blue one so for the blue one i can also set set a flex value here i can set true okay so you can see that now that the blue one also takes up some amount of space it's basically uh claimed some of the one that the the orange one was taken before but the orange one still takes up more space than the blue because the orange container has more or has a higher flex value so you may wonder, how is it being calculated? Well, it's been calculated by summing up the, the flex values of all the, the, the widgets that have been expanded in this row. So the orange container has three, while the blue has two. So that is a total of five. So the blue takes up two fifths of the space, while the orange takes up three fifths of the space. So this expanded, adding expanded to a widget it's a very nice and easy way for ensuring that your elements or your, your widgets in a row or in a column take up the amount of space that you want them to take. So you can experiment with this. If you run this app, you would see the expected behavior or how this would be all laid out. So I encourage you to, to try this out, experiment with it more, and build amazing UIs using Flutterflow. Thanks for watching. Bye.